Hello, my lovely opportunists. My name is Winter. I'm the editor and player character of Charity. I just wanted to give everyone a quick reminder to follow our podcast so you don't miss an episode. Thank you for tuning back in and we hope you enjoy. Hey everybody, I'm Corey. I'm the Dungeon Master for Opportunity Roll. I'm here with Group 2. Say hi, everybody. Hello. Let's go ahead and introduce each other. Uh, everybody, each other. Let's go ahead and introduce each other. Um, <laughs> Blue, you want to introduce Samuel? Samuel Blue? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the loudmouth drow, Sam, who plays Lynn. <laughs> Was that the There's no one all blue. <laughs> There's Zachariah. <laughs> Okay, um, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves. Let's go ahead and go down the line. Let's go ahead and start with Blue. Hello, I'm Blue, and I play Zechariah Talor, the human warlock of my own family. <laughs> How about Dom? Hi, I'm Dom. I play the Gith Druid. All right, Gunny. Hi, I'm Gunny, and I play Tensil Boster, the Elven Barbarian. Samuel? Hi, I'm Samuel, also known as Jonathan, and I'll be playing Lynn, the half drowned Bard of Whispers. And Myla. Hi, I'm Laura, uh, or Tangle the Blue. I play Myla, the High Elf um, Wild Magic Sorcerer. I'm Corey. I am your diggity diggity dungeon master. <clears throat> yeah. So. When we last left off, we had left the group uh, just after a very, very interesting scene, I should say. Um, you guys had got what you were after, but in a very limited supply. Um, however, it was enough for Kalith uh, to be able to fix himself, enough for Zachariah to be able to potentially... Uh, or did were you able to regrow your foot? Yeah. Yes. So you get your foot back. Everybody's feeling a little sick, uh, but I think as we continue on back out, uh, we will head uh, kind of back to the cart, and we will have uh, just kind of this uh, rolling scenery of some nice clouds. You guys don't feel as sick as you did. It doesn't feel as oppressive as it was, and uh, Cole is. Holding poor Flora's hair back as she leans over the cart. Oh. I see she's still not feeling well. Yeah, I don't know. Seems like she's got a fever. Well, I guess for the moment. The farther we get away from here, it might help. I don't know. Well, good thought. The gems are currently gone now, at least from this current area, so it shouldn't be the source of any ailments anymore. Uh, does that work the same for a dragon? Right, I forgot. We didn't go over that details. I think I kind of just glossed over that question. Yeah. Sorry, I figured it would be an important question to ask. Would I know if it, this sort of thing would affect a dragon differently? Uh, you could roll uh, an arcana. Alright. I That's ignore that advantage. Uh, I don't think I have advantage, so... Oh, seven. A seven. Okay. Um, seven's hard to say. Uh... They're a little bit more in tune to nature. Senses are a little bit more keen. It could have a more lasting effect with her a little bit longer than a human. Are we all feeling better speak enough since you just said like since you said that, or are we still kind of feeling sick? Um, I'd say you have like the, the rumblings of an upset stomach, but nothing as horrible as what it was. Fun. Hmm. 
I mean, Mila just kind of like jumps up on the carts. Um, um, and she, uh, she's just kind of looking over at Zechariah for a quick moment and then just kind of sighs and just like, should we just be get going? Maybe? Uh, yes, I think so. If anything, I don't think there's much we can do for right now. We just monitor the situation. Hmm. Unless anyone else has any ideas. Not much to be gained here. And, uh, well, maybe we get some fresh air. We get further in this place. Things will be better. At the very least, it's better than just dawdling about. Then I guess we are heading to Bravo. All right. And with that, Zacharias is just going to hop up onto the cart. Uh, just kind of glad of his own kind of free will of motion now. Yeah, it'll be the first <laughs> time really that you've been able to stand after uh, losing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People so, don't tend to stand on anything they don't have. <laughs> true. You know that works. I guess that, that phantom pain probably be gone too, so you'd probably feel a lot less pain as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Khalith, you guys are gearing up. You're getting everything settled back in the cart and things are getting ready. You are going to get uh, one of the foldable letters. Uh, you will see some sort of paper bird uh, as it kind of flaps towards you. Uh, until it lands uh, on your shoulder. <clears throat> um, Khalees will curiously take it off his shoulder and open it up. Um, it is a letter uh, from your people. Um, they're not sure where to locate you. But they're sure that you haven't gone too far, hopefully. Uh, they need your help. Um they're not sure what's going on per se, and they're not saying that anybody's hurt now. But there's a question that they need from you to answer that they need you to do in person, and they and they need you to come home. Khalees will have a slightly bittersweet look on his face as he's reading this over. Does it say anything else, or? Just that. Okay. What's wrong? What does it say? No, it's um nothing important. I just need to go soon. Well, I mean, we came, we found what we were needing. At this point. You're welcome to stay with us, but if you're needed elsewhere, you can leave if you need to. Uh, we all appreciate your help. And I appreciate your help. I, uh, as much as I would enjoy sticking around with you and your friends, my people take higher precedence at the time. Hmm. <sighs> well, I can understand that. Well... If you're ever in need, or if we're ever looking for work, I guess, uh, the Fates Defiant could always use someone like you. He will give a slight smile and a nod. Um, I appreciate that. I don't have many friends outside of where I grew up. So, if I do come to need you and your friends or need to get away. It will definitely be the first to come to mind. Mm. Well, we're always welcome, always welcome to have you back whenever you can and to help whenever we can for you. Besides, with our group, you already got a foot in the door. Glare. 
Galileo to Zachariah. <laughs> What's going up next? <laughs> I had to. She's allowed to make that joke. I got you your foot back. I allow it. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to use that once. For now. Say it again, and then you might cost you an arm or a leg. <laughs> This is going to end really badly if we keep this up. <laughs> All right. you, guys, you guys are being a handful. <laughs> Thank you. It was well, only one foot, so I think it's okay to make one joke. Uh, All right, I'll stop before I stick another foot in the grave. All right, I think it's time for you to go, Khalif. <laughs> wouldn't want her to kick the bucket, would we? Oh. Right. He'll he'll extend a hand out and just like pat Zachariah's shoulder. Stay in good health. Uh, I don't want to have to come fix you again. I try to. Fate has a different plan, though. It would seem as you got stabbed and lost your foot. That's only the tip of the iceberg, too. But that's a tale for another day. So it would seem. It was a pleasure knowing all of you and meeting all of you. Stay safe out there, all right? You take care, too. He will give a slight nod to everyone and we'll tap his uh, staff on the ground and uh, make a flower for everyone before. Aww. Mm-hmm. Okay. You all stay, you know, alive. Thanks. Mm. Yeah, this, no. this is kind of the plan. No promises. Same here. He will... He'll give them all a nod before uh, turning away from the group and essentially just transforming into a giant hyena and starting to make his way away toward mm-hmm. his towards his group towards his uh people. Now that's useful. I didn't know he could do that. Huh. Well, I think we better get a move on ourselves. Yeah. How far is it? Hmm, let's see. I don't think I've ever been to Bravo before. 200 miles. Play. I think it's about 200 miles. <laughs> <laughs> well then. I hope we find a stop <laughs> along the way. Well, there is a look spa, but we should only really be heading there if we need to. We're on time limits to get to Bravo, right? More than likely, yes. As long as the, uh, for as long as the mobility is willing to play around with their new toy. Until they decide to get rid of it. The oh. nobles are. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Go no, on. The nobles are. Um, vicious and mean sometimes. So I would expect they would love to. <clears throat> um, she kind of stops for a moment, looks over to Zachariah, uh, and just like. Just kind of whispers like torture. Uh Zachariah uh, you know, infer getting picking up what he's someone's putting down, basically. <laughs> just uh, gets it and just <sighs> I understand, but that's w- what we're hoping for at least to exploit their weaknesses, their pride. 
in this situation. Hmm. Well, I, I hate nobles. Agreed. Welcome to my everyday, says the noble. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Zechariah, if you would give me a 1d100, please. Okay. That's a 78. <laughs> that is a 78. Um, well, you will also receive a bird bite letter. Hmm? Oh, is it this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might know what this is out of character, but let's continue. <laughs> Someone else has to go home. <clears throat> so it'll it'll pretty much read. Uh, so, I hope you're doing well uh, since you left the tower with the scroll. I also hope that you found your way back to your friends. I hope this finds you in good spirits, as I have good news. I've been banished. I'm not dead. They honor the code of dwarves. Death only befalls us who kills another. So, if you're worried, don't be too worried. If you need help, flip this page over and send it back. I'll come running. I think with that, uh, yeah, Zechariah's going to take the the note and fold it and stick it into his backpack. Well, it seems we've gotten a little bit of good news. We don't need to go to Bravul anymore. Uh, oh, oh. No, it's good news. Okay. Oh, yeah, you said good news, yes. I'm sorry. No, actually, I'm not sorry. He's been banished. Oh. Which is no, the best we could have hoped for in this situation. I, I guess that is good n- news. Um, is he doing well? It seems so, but... Uh, yeah, there's so much. There's only so much that words can say, really, when they're written on a note and a piece of paper. Maybe we can go find them and see what happened. Mm-hmm. Maybe, but I mean, he's an important friend of yours, isn't he? True, but we also have other issues to do with as well. There are still demons in Kroka. We left that situation because time constraints made us have to. There's a possibility that something big could be happening there, or following us. We don't know yet, and it might be safe to find out more leads and make sure Kroka's safe. If not, have a solid base to find out uh, at least how the others are doing. I mean, while we wait to find another path to take. There was the other instances in Truma as well. Should. Yeah, I wanted to investigate that, especially with the um, those potential items that Zala might be looking for. Speaking of, I think it might have been, uh, been able to buy us a little bit of time with Kroka. I was able to send word back to King Brimsworth. That's going to be weird to say that. Uh, hmm. Send words back to Brimsworth about the situation after he left. So hopefully he was able to mobilize something. Okay, well that's good. Well, if we're trying to go to Truma, then the best path would most likely be further back where we started, actually, Myla. Probably Close to do Hollymead? Um, I mean, we could try to go through the Nevesca Forest. 
it's going to be hard. Well, I think that for the most part, we need to limit the danger. I, I don't know any well-known ports in Noveska. It's forest that could get us across to Truma. I Means either that or make a way over the draft more. Head off from there, make our way through peace in order to get to Truma. True, but that's a lot of time on the water. Unless we're going to, yeah, oh, like you said, peace lands. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, what are you thinking, gang? Hmm. Milo. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, Milo's just very. I was about to say oddly quiet, but uh, she's just really kind of sitting there. She has like her, her finger, uh, her thumbnail in her mouth, and she's just kind of like chewing on it. She's really thinking hard about something. Yeah. Lynn just like has her her fingers uh, steeple, just has her hand, her, uh, her chin in the middle of it, just thinking. Hmm. Let's see. Tensil isn't going to say anything, but he's looking in the direction of Draftmore. Let's see. At this point, it would probably be... It'd probably be easier on us to head towards Draftmore. And if anything, something along the way, we could probably hear a word from, about, Nove- about going on in Noveska. Especially Maybe. if there's any demon activity around there. I'd really like to find out what happened to my father. That's my true, lo- too. Uh, a word of uh, Tinsel mentioning about his father, Maya kind of like turns away, uh, bites her lip. I um, yeah, I I think going the draft more will be the best, and then heading through peace to Truma. All right. Well, well, we're not on any clock anymore. It's probably best we do keep a good pace as best as we can. If the situation is as bad as it says they said in Truma. Plus, uh, at this point, she has a bit more of a mischievous look in her face. Plus, at this point, we can also use an opportunity to spread our word, spread word of our deeds, give a good name for ourselves, especially around draft more with those haughty, haughty types. We gotta go where to move with those. Probably get some good pay and good and additional um, additional reputation around there. True. True. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I say we need should head down the mountain here and I guess make way for Hazel first. Civilization. Mm-hmm. Maybe get word of anything going around in the area. Then head straight to draft more after, unless anything catches our attention. Actually, while we're going through all this, how is uh, how's Flora looking? She she's still looking a little sick. Um, I mean, she's not. Uh, I mean, she's not horrible anymore. She's not you know crouched over or letting anything fly anymore. So she's contained, but not well. <laughs> Could Tensel get like a good look over her and kind of see what's what's going on and see if he can know if any like. Um, herbs or anything he can pick up along the way to be able to help with the symptoms? Um, sure. I mean, you could take a quick medicine check if you like. Ten. Um, that is a ten. You might be able to get her some, some tea that might be able to settle her stomach, but without knowing much on magic sickness. Which is uh, kind of the the symptoms that are showing, especially after you had spoke to Talith. Um, it's mostly time. Mm. 
Tetsu will kind of nod for a moment. Excuse me, Lady Leofina? Hmm? You know a lot about, like, fancy stuff, right? Um, yes, I think so. Do you know much about tea? My mom um, used to make tea for us whenever we were feeling too well. I know, um, we had uh, servants when make us tea. I never really made any, um... I mean, I, I could try, maybe, I guess. Uh, um. Okay. And Tensil's going to, like, look back and forth to uh, Zachariah and Lynn and Cole and kind of look questioningly, but not say anything. <clears throat> well, do you think you'd be able to find support? For it? I was hoping to find some leaves or something along the way. The only other thing that I could think that we would probably have to pick up, unless we could get really lucky, is pick up some honey. I know honey goes really good with most teas. It's really soothing. Possibly, but it's kind of the reason why I wanted to go to Hazel. Maybe they had someone... A doctor. More a herbalist, more than likely, though. If you pick up something that, like, helps sell her symptoms until we get to Hazel, maybe we can see if we find yeah. something, but priority should at least be getting to a more established area. But I'll keep an eye out as well. That was you. kind of my hope, is to maybe find something along the way and make some tea for her one of these nights. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sure it's going to take a while to get there. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe, what, two, three days until we get there? From where we are? Um, hmm. And Zechariah kind of pulls out. Hmm. A couple days, yeah. <laughs> it kind of just eyeballs it. I'd say probably three to four. All right. In the meantime, I guess we'll have to... I'll, I'll help you keep watch over her. I'll try, and, try and find something for her, meanwhile. And if I think... Hmm. Actually, like, along those lines, um... Would let him know like any sort of like uh, remedies that she, like her dad would have used in order to treat her when she was sick. Um, uh, there's pretty there's some pretty standard noodles and broth. Hmm. No, I don't think they have access to that sort of thing right now. Plus, I'm not exactly good with cooking that sort of thing anyway, so no. Nah. Uh, you can point out the sort of herbs. I can try and do what I can. Hmm. All right. Well, All right. I think with that, then we should be heading out. Then keeping our eyes out on for any of these herbs you're talking about. Yeah. At very least, maybe just some fresh air and away from. Any lingering remnants of this area would be better. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would probably help a lot. Mm -hmm. And with that, I think we're off. Okay. Cole, get your hot ass in gear. We're rank getting ready to go. Cole's already on the cart. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you allowed to offer to? <laughs> you, hot, you hot ass. Let's get going. So you guys will... Head back into the cart. You make your way back around and head on down the way that you had came. But some unfortunate news. 
the oh. machines that in that time while you guys were dealing with that the commotion and everything like that while you guys were getting sick a rock slide uh, has occurred uh, the path then which you came up in is currently blocked okay yes okay mm. Oh, Taiki, why do you test us like this? I appreciate you, but why? Um, so, I guess we need to go around. <sighs> yeah, it, it would seem so. Hmm. Wasn't there... I thought there was another path on the other side, didn't they say? I call a point over to the left, uh, to just a little bit to the right. Uh, there's a veer off right there. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, can uh, people like take a look around and see if there's like any signs of like travel, like other people trying to set this up? Uh, sure. Uh, you take a quick perception or investigation. And that's a six, everybody. I can't see anything. <laughs> can't see um, shit, Captain. Yeah, I'd say, unfortunately, there's just not enough to go on. <sighs> All right, well... I think everyone should stay keen for the most part very odd that a rock slide happened all of a sudden right after after everything went on I don't know there might be slight paranoia but I think it's best that we keep our head on a swivel hmm. all right I guess we're taking the right path. Yeah. So you guys will head right. Uh, you will follow the uh, kind of winding way until you get to a more of a, a flattened, hilly, rolly. <laughs> That's a lovely description. Uh, more of a more of a, a rolling grass plain on the kind of a plateau in the mountain. <clears throat> you guys will go over uh, a few more of these rough hills. Uh, stones quickly underfoot, uh, the grass barely growing on anything, much like moss, uh, until eventually you guys will come to a bridge. Very expansive bridge, uh, which overlooks a chasm uh, anywhere between, uh, I'd say, probably 120 feet to 140 feet down. Oof. And how wide was the uh, bridge again? Uh, five foot. Hmm. Is the cart we have going to be able to make our, make it over the bridge? Um, I mean, your cart is roughly 30 foot wide. Maybe more. Uh, you might, if you can find a way to cast a spell, you might be able to carry it over. Well, shit. Uh, I don't think it's going to fit, guys. I, um, I, 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 I might have I, some... I do have a spell that can make stuff smaller. But it doesn't really last for too long. Does that even work on objects? I actually don't know. Let me see. And larger or reduce? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I think that's on creatures. Creature uh, or object. Yeah. Yeah, oh, is okay. it on object? Oh. Yep. Yeah, yeah, just post it in the thing. Yeah. Instead of last time. Okay, so they dropped out of the Uh, why doesn't it say? I think it lasts, it lasts a minute. Yeah, I think. Oh, you didn't put it down? Here. No, they didn't put it down there. Hold on. Well, 
We could reduce the cart. Kind of have two of us kind of lift it over, then uh, bring ourselves over with the cart to the other side. But mm, first, I'm very skeptical about the reliability of this bridge to begin with. I can always test it out. Um, Mr. Tinsel, um, I mean, um, um. And without anybody, like, actually trying to stop him, he's going to start going to oh, take a look at um, the bridge. I'm grabbing him by a collar if he's trying to go. It's like, no. Uh, no. But in the very any least. Any other way of our cross? Uh, in the very least, in case something happens. She's actually just going to hand you the broom, like, just plop it right into your hand. Oh. This will make it fun. This will make it... This will make it in case something happens. Wait. Hmm. Mm Hmm? Hmm? Test it first and see. I might have an idea just in case. Oh, wait a second. And he's going to start making his way over to the bridge and kind of like jumping on a few different planks and taking a look at the ropes as he's going. Okay. As he's as he's like jumping and like t- and testing everything, Milo's like wincing at every like. So this bridge is pretty nasty looking. Uh, the rope looks like it's ancient, if not completely before braided rope was a big thing. And the planks along this wood are mostly rotted away by things like moss. Uh, do uh, you see a lot of warping? Uh, so, for every ten feet that you make on this bridge, I need a dexterity saving. <sighs> Boy, yeah, that's gonna be a tough one, guys. Don't you have a special barbarian thing? I think he does. No. Uh, he has to see the danger. Actually, no, because I don't have a standard path. Um... No, no, I think it's part of the like the regular barbarian kit. That's one. So oh, let's no. see what you got. You have Unarmed Defense, Fate Ancestry, Trance Dark Vision, uh, Mask of the Wild. When you are lightly obscured, you can hide. Natural Survivor. Uh, difficult terrain does not slow you or your group's travel. You should have like uh, Danger Sense. That's what. No, he doesn't get that, unfortunately. Okay. I guess that's a special barbarian thing then. I could not another path. Yeah. I don't play many barbarians, so. You should. It's fine. <laughs> this one. Well, there's a uh, two deck saves for there. Okay. Good and good. Okay. Is there that like a lot of creaking and wobbling? Oh god, yeah. Oh yeah, this thing cannot stop making sounds. The stress of this rope, uh, almost like a cry of pain for this poor inanimate object. He's going to take one more step and then see if he can, like, swing the bridge a little bit side to side and see how it acts. Oh, okay. Mila's not doing good right now. Uh, Give me a quick athletics check. No, no. Uh, That's an eight. Oh, no. Um, so you are going to jostle this thing, uh, back and forth, uh, pretty, pretty good, actually. Uh, and one of these ropes will snap. Myla screams. This one right here. If you can give me a quick dexterity save, uh, let's see if you can grab a hold on to the other rope. Good. That is a 10. Yep. 
So that's a uh, eight athletics with a ten dexterity follow up. So you're going to be able to grab a hold of that rope. <clears throat> Tensil's going to look back to the group. I don't think it's safe. He's just gonna just gonna like hop on the broom and then like kind of put over. Milo's kind of like sitting there in the back, just like her hands are, um, like j- j- just kind of like really like a little stressed out and everything, a little anxious. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, Lynn, I think. We probably have the same idea. If we fly the each fly the broom across. My thing is about the cart. Yeah. I mean, What's the carrying the- capacity of the broom? Uh, roughly one humanoid. Mm. Uh, okay. Does it still have to be on level ground to get across? Usually, yeah. Okay. So, Mm -hmm. technically, he couldn't putt-putt in midair back to... Because he would need a certain amount of ground below him. Because it can only hover, it can't fly. Uh, So the bridge wouldn't work as a kind of makeshift ground? Uh, Potentially, yeah, you could do that. But what I'm saying is he would still be trying to pull himself up. But I guess... Eh, give it. It doesn't matter. He's over. Uh, he's across. He's there now. We will uh, not be able to save the cart. I have an idea for the cart, though. Yeah. It depends. Possibly multiple trips. Like she's just at this point, looking over, like across at everyone, looking over the cart, just looking down the ground, just back to everyone again, just thinking aloud. It's like. I, I don't think daddy? the broom can carry a horse. Thing is, um, what if the car? What if you have to worry about that? What if I can make them fly? In a sense. Well, what are you thinking? She's actually um. Gonna go up to Tinsel and take the broom for a second. Yeah, here you go. And she's just going to put a a hand on the cart. Let's see if this works. And with a slow muttering to herself, is going to raise off the ground a bit as she casts Levitate. Okay. All right. Should hopefully work. Can only hold so much weight on it, though. Can try to carry. It can try to at least drag this across while it's on the while it's in the air. Wait a minute. I think I get what you're meaning. Mm-hmm. We have someone safely hover on the broom and pull the cart that's floating in the air. So. We reduce the weight on the bridge. It would take multiple trips, though, in order to get everyone across. And what do you mean? Why wouldn't everyone just get into the cart? It can only hold so much weight, though. It still okay. taxes on me mentally. True. Hmm. Fuck, it is the fucking fox, <laughs> the chicken and the seed yep. puzzle. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, and we have to be quick about this. It can only hold. It can only maintain this for like ten minutes. So decide now. Oh, Cole's good one. As uh, at this point, she's um, going to attach a rope, probably to. The, like she's going to disconnect the horse and um, attach it to like uh, the connecting. Attach a rope to the connecting point and connect it to the back end of the broom. Wow. Probably still need to reduce the size of the horse. Make it smaller, like our size, to fit into the cart to get pulled across. I, um, yeah, I can do that. We can also tie ropes from here to there so we can help strengthen the, the bridge for all those who can't get on the cart. 
and he's just going to immediately like start pulling out his rope. Mm-hmm. I'd say at this point you have eight more minutes for the spell. Yeah. We better well, get why? going. All right. Okay. Two people get on now. Gold going. Tensil staying behind, and he's going to tie uh, one end of the rope to the cart. All right. Uh, Everybody else with the rope, please toss it down before you go. Mm-hmm. Why is there two of them? Zachariah, help, uh, help Flora get on there. Yeah, of course. Uh, Zachariah will help Flora get on, uh, but for him himself, Zachariah is going to wait towards the end. Okay. All right. So who's getting on? Uh, so what do we say how much the car can hold? It holds 500 pounds. So I'd say, like, maybe one more person. Um, but you know, you should probably get across. Me and Zachariah can handle this. Okay. And probably one of the lighter ones as well, so I can probably hold you. All right. Yeah, she gets on the carts. Okay. Uh, at this point, as soon as everyone's settled, Lynn is just going to just, like, looking at the card, raise a hand of it, and it's going to raise about... 10, 15 feet up into the air and she's going to, immediately once it's all settled, start pulling it across with the broom. Okay. Uh, so let me go ahead and do this. So let me just float you guys across. <clears throat> okay. As that's going and happening, uh, Tensil's going to go and take like a small branch or something, something with at least, you know, three inches thick. And he's going to take one of his uh, swords and start chopping the end of it off to make it into, like, a spike. Okay. Um, Sin, who was the one kind of feeling on edge about this? Who was the one who wanted to kind of keep an eye around things? Zechariah. He's still very skeptical about what happened with the rockfall, so he's just staying back to make sure whatever caused the rockfall possibly doesn't come and collapse the bridge. Give me a perception check. All right. That's a crit 24. Nice. So you're going to see this probably as it happens. Person is going to scooch over this ridge right here. He's going to pull out a wand (gasps) and take aim. And a spell is going to go off and it's going to zip past Flora. It's going to hit Cole. Um, where were they at specifically when this happened? I, I need to know the center range. of the de- dead center of the crevice. Uh, let me see how far that is. Uh, 40 feet. Uh, how far is this? Oh, wait a minute. My sheet closed. <laughs> no, just, just remember this is also, unless you're on the broom, this is only a rope. Uh, no. Uh, where is it? I'm trying to find. And this is magical? Yes. Uh, I am going to, at this point, while I see the bolt flying out, uh, with my shield that's on my arm, use my reaction for my pact as the shield goes flying off in towards Cole. Because I believe that's within range. I didn't see that. You're really Captain American. Damn, I was just like that. Well, welcome to my build that finally gets to show itself. It's all throwing the shield and protecting people. <laughs> and Asan thought he was Captain America. I know, I was just to say, like, wow, and like. Like, Vex is gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> so how what's the distance on it? Uh, I believe it's 60 feet. Regardless, he's uh, he's kind of spooked himself off the cart. <gasps> oh, oh come well, on. yeah, so I mean, you can shield him from the attack, but he's off and over. Wait, so is he falling? He's falling. I'm gonna cast Featherfall. On it. All right. As soon as you do, and your reaction goes off, another reaction goes off, which Uh-oh. is counter spell. <gasps> the fuck? 
Okay. Well, bye, Cole. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I, th- I think literally just in a shock, uh, uh, Zachariah just immediately. Uh, and where did you say this person was? Across the bridge or on our side? Uh, right up, right up here. Yeah. So he's uh, blah, 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 a little ways away. Uh, Let's see. Doo, 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 doo. Uh, he's probably within some of you guys' range. Uh, Fifty-five feet. Uh, roughly fifty-five to sixty. Yeah. Um, you can see him. If only, <gasps> if only I had grasp of Hadar to pull him. <laughs> um, that would have been fucking amazing. That would have been one time would be awesome. What's the chance he catches the rope that I tied to the end of the cart? <sighs> it's true. Probably or at least on the rope of the bridge. <laughs> okay. Um, Myla is gonna try something else. I'm... Cause d- does she see this guy? Oh yeah, she sees him. He's right up here, and he's got a wand out. He is ready. If like anybody casts anything else, he's. Oh well, that was he... gonna be Myla. Yeah, he yeah. was not letting any. Like he's he's ready. He's now standing. He doesn't care if he's hit. At this point, it seems, and this is just from pure perspective. Yeah, Milo was going to cast Magic Missile at him. All right. Yeah, I'm going to be casting Eldritch Blast at him. Eldritch Blast. Actually, oh, he's within range. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, he is. And as he tries something against one of those spells, I'm going to hit him with the silence. Go ahead, guys. All right. Wrath. Okay. Uh, um, do I want to do this at a higher level? No, I'm good. Okay. Two. Seven. Uh, seven plus, that's 11 damage plus... It's been so long since I fought yeah. anything. Plus one. Yeah. <laughs> 12. Uh, so that's, yeah, 12? Uh, yeah, 12. Who else is piling on damage? Who wants to smack him some more? I, I will, uh, but I rescind what I've said. I forgot that I had this. I'm casting Guiding Bolt on him Ooh. instead of Eldritch Blast. Okay. Um, I would like to use my inspiration to reroll that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, he's going to fucking die. 19. 19 nice. will hit. Much better. And silencing on this area. And that is a... Uh, that is... A level two, so that's meant to be higher. But, so that needs to be a, another 1d6. Okay. Because of Eldritch. Yeah. Oh, nice. So that is... Oh. Twen- I'm bad at math. 24. <laughs> 24. Yeah, 24. <laughs> so 24 points of damage, and the next person who takes an attack at him has an advantage. Alright. Well, guys, he's dead. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> Damn it, I wasted the spell. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, this is, uh, so gentleman... Is co- I'm sorry. No, go on. Uh, this gentleman uh, will uh, pretty much be standing there smoking uh, as all your spells kind of have obliterated a good fair portion uh, of his will to live. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a bit more than his will to live. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to get gory with it, though. Um, <laughs> he's, just, uh, uh, he's just a little charred. He's a little smoky. He's a uh, how far is Cole now from falling? Cole has fallen far below the darkness oh, of, fuck. of the cavern. Yeah, they fall 500 <laughs> feet. Yeah. So that's past 60 feet. Okay, never mind. Cole is no longer in your sight. Then has to stop on the bridge room and just look down. It's like, no, 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 no. Like she's just, she's just staring, and kind of in a bit of a adrenaline state. Zachariah's looking around, but still at the same point, he just sees uh, Lynn kind of freeze. Lynn, quickly, get them across the bridge now! Uh, right, right, right. She just in that moment of shock just shakes her head out of her out of her haze and just continues on pulling the others across. I rescind my uh, shield back. You guys will safely 
uh, make it all across the rest uh, of the crevice. Yeah, and it's, like as soon as they're off, it's like time sensitive matter. So immediately hustles it back for Zachariah and Tensel. Uh, you uh, you'll start to get moving again for the other one, but after setting them down, waiting for the girls to get off, uh, the spell will go away. God. Don't worry about that land. I kind of had it planned. And he's going to be taking his stick that he sharpened and start beating it into the ground, using it as an anchor for the rope that is now stretched across the crevice. No. Tensel, you're a source of bast- you're a sourceful bastard. <laughs> uh. Zachariah, I uh, keep an eye on your side. I'll keep watching mine till he's ready. God damn it! My. Myla just kind of, uh, she walks over to Lynn and just kind of like places as she just kind of like looks down into the cat, the darkness. Near a feel as the mist kind of swirls upon the, uh, the darkened crevice. Tensil's gonna look to Zachariah. Well, do you want the honors, or shall I? I'll go. Just keep a lookout. Will do. And he'll pull out his crossbow, and then kind of use, like, one hand to hold onto the anchor that he just drove into the ground. Okay. So what am I doing? (laughs) Uh, just since this is a more sturdy rope, just give me a dex check. Check or save? Uh, let's just say uh, check, check, check. Check one two. Check one two. Check one two three. Oh, check no no. Uh, that's a dexterity of eight. <clears throat> um, man, I've only made a bard. Um, <laughs> she's wait morning. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's on the other side. It didn't give us I, inspiration. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, now we can roll this back and I can cut this, but uh, we, we now have a very strong rope. Uh, would you like to send the broom over? Yeah, Lynn's like, just, you mind helping me out again? Just for a bit. And she's just being to the room, and uh, at the lame go across, she's actually going to eye the body a bit. Yeah. I'm going to find out what the hell is going on with that. And she just sends a broom across for the for the others. Okay. Yeah, My- Myla's heading over toward the body as well. Okay. Uh, Flora will be kind of looking down the crevice. <laughs> um. So before we roll a dexterity, since we don't need that, uh, before mm-hmm. we even consider rolling dice, because we're smart, we're great, we're awesome. Yep, yep sure we are. Mm-hmm. Um, and that never totally happened. Um, we're not editing anything. <laughs> just kidding. What that are you talking about? Fault. We never edit. <laughs> You'll be able to hop onto the broom, uh, mm-hmm. and it will safely uh, take you from one side to the other with this this new rope. All right. Uh, is that a fucking time? People use me like a goddamn lifesaver. I am actually. Well, it's about time you made yourself useful. Anyway, we've got one more chance to go. And he's going to start putting them off back towards uh, Tinsel. I am more useful than a freaking wand. I mean, did you see what that guy was using? That one, dude. Uh, he took a tumble. Mm. <laughs> if only that was so, a range. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was amazed to hear that. Too soon, Broom. <laughs> <laughs> too soon. Um, <laughs> he'll go back for Tinsel. Uh, and while you guys are looking at this gentleman... Uh, you kind of pull him over. Uh, he's a little bit on the older side. Uh, he's seen, definitely from his look, he's seen his fair share of war. Of a lot of things. Uh, he's got scars. All along his jaw, his face, his eyebrows. Uh, he's got uh, nice, old, uh, repaired 
you know how the skin gets like almost a uh, kind of like a melty look to it once it's been burned. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Um, so that that's going to cover all of his left shoulder and arm. Oof. But it's old. That. It's old. It's healed at this point. Uh, and he will be uh, clutching an old armatum. Uh, an armatum is a basically an amulet to show what side of a war you were part of. Okay, oh good, I was going to ask. Yeah, do we recognize it in any way? It's an old one for the war previously for the treaty. Um, it looks like it was the opposing side to Graydon. Mm. Oh, we could just tell from from that. Yeah, this was an old grudge, probably. Okay. All right. Well, Zachariah is keeping an eye out. If there's one, there's probably more. So he's going to keep an eye out for any others. <sighs> Keeping a uh, nice channeling of magic. All right. Eventually, Tinsel, you will be brought to the other side safely. Tinsel, before uh, coming over, he'll stack up a few rocks around the post that he made. And then when he does get back over, he's going to detach the rope from the cart and then toss the end down the ravine just for a little bit of hope. All right. How long will you wait before you pull the rope back up? He's going to leave it down because he doesn't know if he made it or not because there's no clear visual. I know. I'm. I'm. As a DM, I'm. I'm asking because he's not going to grab it. He. He's literally just going to let it there and then like turn to the rest of the group. So the end of the rope is down in the cat, cat, uh, ravine. And the other end is just attached to the post. Okay. How long was this rope again? <laughs> uh, 50 uh, foot, I believe. Uh, <laughs> about 100 foot. Because oh, okay. whoever, I'm hoping at least one other person dropped a rope for me. Otherwise, a 50 foot rope wouldn't have made it across that bridge. Yeah. I'm sure Cole would have. Yeah, so that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but It is. Here's the thing, though. He said he was 140 feet, so it doesn't even make me reach the bottom. God damn it. <laughs> <sighs> and that's just when visibility goes away. I know. So it could be deeper. I know. Um... <sighs> Let's go. It's not safe here. There's nothing we could do about this. Come on, Len. And it's actually just gonna take a moment. Like right now she's just staring at this staring daggers at this guy's face. And it's just gonna be rooting one for the wand, two for the uh the amulet and whatever else he has on his person. Uh three things of rations. The amulet, uh a broken wand now. Yeah. Um and a pair of uh, clothes. Standard common cloths. This one smells just... like booze. I will say that. At this point, now she's just. Now it's gone from just staring daggers to just being visibly annoyed. Just looking at what has in this person's. Just throwing it against him and just spitting on him. It's like. Even more than death. She just like silently heads back towards the others. So wait, what did you do? Sorry, <laughs> Sorry. I think you threw it on him and spit on the body. Looted him. Oh, she did. <laughs> Didn't even have anything of worth in the end. So it's like, yeah. oh, so wait, you just kicked him. Oh, <sighs> oh, because yeah, that like Zachariah was like purposely moving over there. It looks like you're done. Then yeah, Zechariah's literally just picking this corpse up and he's throwing it in the ravine. <laughs> he lost a friend there today. He's throwing that fucking corpse into the <laughs> fucking hole. It works. I like how you guys had to give him a token. 
Yeah. Just to mark him out. I mean, like, we kept constantly saying he didn't deserve mark. a token. <laughs> we kept losing where he was at. So I'm sorry. He's, he's somewhere in this region. Oh. Just blow the whole thing up. Napalm the area. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, how long do we just move out now? Tensel would yep. just give like a small silent prayer and then turn to the rest of the group. We gotta get going. Marla just kind of nods and um, she looks toward Lynn and just goes like, come on. We can... Um, yeah, at this point, Lynn's just quiet, but like has a steely look in her eyes and just gets behind the reins and just waits for everyone to get on. Hmm. You guys will head on down, continuing down the mountain. Uh, you will uh, take most of the rest of the day uh, to find yourself. Uh, let me actually mark. You got a good ways away. You actually made some fairly good distance today. Yay. And all it took was the death of one NPC. Well, and Quote, then. unquote, death. You win some, you lose some. Oh. <sighs> there you go. So you guys are roughly, if you guys are heading towards, you're heading towards Hazel, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to Hazel. Hazel. Yeah, you guys are two days out. Okay. Yay. Eventually the sun will set. <clears throat> the night sky will show as the, the lovely moons hang overhead. A nice fire lights your relaxing atmosphere. Or hopefully relaxing. Um, Myla is kind of like off to the side. Probably She's probably still on the cart. Mostly Megan uh, try to stay away from Tinsel uh, as she can. Um, and she's just kind of like probably again playing with press digitation, just kind of like she's lost in thought a bit, so. That's what she's doing. <laughs> Uh, it's probably safe to say everyone's pretty gloomy. Uh, Zechariah himself is taking it uh, pretty hard himself. Uh, but for the most part, I think for uh, he's just going to be sticking with uh, Flora, making sure she's feeling all right, tending to her while we've taken a rest. Um. She'll give you a couple of soft smiles. Uh, she'll thank you. Uh, she's definitely feeling uh, better. Uh, the more you get away from that area, the more you kind of got down the hill. Uh, she seemed to be doing pretty good now. Mm -hmm. Tansel's probably just going to be sitting by the fire. He's going to pull out the, uh, the sinew in the bone that he kept from the uh, the deer that we had caught a while back. And he's going to put the sinew into a pot and put some water in there and let it boil in order to actually try to harvest it. But he's really going to just stay silent, kind of doing it mindlessly. Okay. And... And then at this point, it's just uh, a little bit off in the others. Still with that bit of a look in her eye, just uh, writing in a book. The one thing she took from that guy was he had an amulet and just uh, just drawing a small draft of it in a book and making some notes on the side in her, um, her, um, her little script. I think I think um, as Myla sees Lynn off to the side, she's going to walk over toward her. Um, it's kind of like sit down right in front of her and just like, do you want to talk? 
and startle her a little bit. Like, uh, uh, I mean, the what? She just like um, closes a book and kind of try, tries to make it look like she's um, looking at you, but just it's noticeable that she's averting her gaze from looking directly on. Yeah, Lynn just kind of like cock- Lynn, wow. Lila kind of cocks her head to the side and just like, Lynn. I... You know what we should talk about. I, I mean, I, I... You helped me, you know, through kind of tough times and... I want to be here for you when you're going through tough times, so. She just kind of gives a small smile to her. Lynn just lets out a bit of a sigh at that point. It's like. And then just tries to put on the best smile she can for Myla. Just looks at her. I appreciate it, but I don't know what to think right now. I seriously don't. That's um, that's fine. I'm um. She just kind of like stops herself from saying anything and just kind of stands back up just like if you do want to talk um I mean you know you know where to find me (laughs) and she just kind of gives her like a soft smile and walks back to the cart Like, while you're walking back, she's just going to call out behind you. I'll be all right. It's just... I just need some time. That's all. Miles is just going to stop and look around. Kind of, like, look at Lynn and just kind of, like, nod, nod her head a bit. Um, and just continue walking back. She's trying to give her enough, like, the space that she she needs for now. And uh, while you're walking away, not really that audible, unless like you want to roll for it to see. Um, you can try. <laughs> Would that be perception? Yes. Nope, I don't hear nope. anything. <clears throat> That's funny. <laughs> you're not there. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I tried. Yeah. Would have had it, but no. Uh, but like, you might not catch it. But like, under her breath, she's been saying, um, as she opens her book again. How many days will this morning take? Oh, no, I'm uh, sad now. You'll kind of hear a rock skitter in the grass close to you, uh, coming from the tree line, Lynn. She's immediately gonna just. Draw one of the knives from her bracers and just uh, call out an area. You're going to see a flicker of very familiar eyes. Uh, you'll know this is from somebody from the Order. Is it, uh. Damn, where is it? No, it's where? Ah. Is it Beeb again? No. It's worse. Oh. Oh no. Uh boy. Like worse than that, she should be on edge, at attention, or annoyed. At attention and should probably uh should probably get in communication ASAP. She's gonna dissipate the dagger. And uh Look to see, hopefully, that no one else in the group is looking that way. 
And then when she makes sure, she's just going to uh, try to suddenly make her way over. All right. Uh, making your way into the forest. Uh, is everybody okay uh, back at camp, or would they like to try and catch this? Miles Ma- Ma- not paying attention, so. Okay. I'm, I mean, f- for the most part, Zachary <laughs> very much. Uh, keeping a sense of everything lately with <laughs> what it seems like two to three people f- and possibly other teams following us lately. Zachariah's kind of been on constant edge lately. You were also told by uh, Akilith about that thing. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, heading into the forest, you will be met by this gentleman. Oh, boy. His name is Vang. V-A-N-G. He is probably one of the best uh, agents, I guess you could say. Over, he, he pretty much rounds a good bit of what can be done with him. Uh, he, if, if he needs information, he can get information. If he needs uh, to tail somebody, he can tail somebody. He is probably one of the lead mentors but he doesn't play games. Oh, boy. Yeah. Where is your charge? My charge? The person meant to watch you. Bibbs. I haven't made contact since... Just before him towards the mountains. I th- mm-hmm. thought he was you for I thought you were him for a second. Pips has gone missing. What? Pips has gone missing. So they sent me. Something's trailing you. At this point I wouldn't be surprised if Pips is dead. There's just an an audible gulp from her. Shit. That being said, what have you got yourself into? Not like the whole thing, but you look like you're fresh in a fucking newbie camp, kid. At this point, her gaze is just like when initially realizing it was Vang, she uh, was a little bit shaky, but saying that she's fresh out, looks like she's fresh out of newbie camp, her, her, her gaze is just going to go steely again. It's like, I'm fine. Just I had a bit of a bad run back in the mountain. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I'm good. Lost. So quite a tumble. Can we move on towards business? I'd rather not reflect right now. Ah, but see, that's kind of important. Who is he to you? Let me just do this quick. Oh, fuck. Companion. Someone who's around to assist us. Just a friend. Good friend. It's not what the reports say. You going soft because of it? I'm not soft. Yeah. Um. So he's going to do something, and it's going to prompt you to do something. It's from your training. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's got these um, little circular, thick pieces of uh, parchment. They're kind of like little mini frisbees. They're black, painted black, with a red circular bullseye in the center of them. And so a little bit of your training uh, was for a couple of people to throw those while you throw the knives and try to hit the dead center of them. Mm-hmm. So immediately, this is him testing your reaction. Uh... 
Actually, let me see if I have that set correctly. One moment. Okay, it doesn't actually adjust it. So at this point, it's like the instant she sees that flash, she's going to be uh, technically actually from her training, she wouldn't be reaching for the for the bracer. She'd be reaching for her normal sidearm. Okay. And laying that, low, that loose. What would that be? Uh, her regular dagger, the one that's typically on her hilt. Sounds good. Let's roll an attack. Oh! <clears throat> Dead center. Dead center, natural 20 with a 26. And you will pin that against a tree. Okay, then. So you're not getting soft. Guess I made the right choice. Uh, and he'll kind of step to the side. Uh, you might see a lump of a human being on the tree. <laughs> Keep it together. Keep up the good work. I'll try to find Pip. Is is it visible who that is? Uh, you can make a perception check. I should even climb up a little bit to see perception. Fourteen. Uh, you have to get a little bit closer. Uh, but uh, rip shirt looks like he's taking a tumble. Knock on the head, probably person, probably personally given because he couldn't be spotted. Bang and all. Um, it's Cole. I'm gonna have to make another deception check. One second. <laughs> God damn, sixteen. Uh, as trying as best she can to just hide her immediate excitement, excitement to see him. All right, for the most part, she's just going to. Uh, nod her head uh, towards Vang. It's like, please keep me informed in case you find anything. Uh, It's gonna get worse. He can't go back with you. And they can't know he's alive. He's talking about Cole, right? I guy wasn't the only one. There's a group of people after him. At least that's what our intel says. I sent a message in as soon as I got him. Figured you'd want to know. He's got a bounty on his head. Of course he would. And he's resurfaced lately, so... Anybody and... worth getting a bounty is after him. And he's connected to a group connected with Crocus. Of course, he got attention. So I'll what? see that he gets healed. You say your goodbye. And then you go back and you pretend like he died. It's the best thing for him. I... Can't even make a deception check for this one. There's going to be... She's going to try to hold up as well as she can, but it's going to be like this one tear that just rolls down. So be it then. Do what I can. Just... Keep me informed with, with a bit. And... No. No, already too much on my plate. I already asked the guild for too much information. There's already so much going on. I'll try and see what I can without these. She just opens a book and just looks at the drawing. She just made of the amulet. About these bastards. For what we know, they're an old fraction. That's about it. Nothing more. <laughs> He'll walk over and he'll gra- he'll just grab Cole's leg. Yeah, when he's biting his ass. Right. Don't worry. If he's anything like you, when he wakes up, he'll be a fucking handful. And he won't be able to aim worth shit. She says, "Is she just?" As he says, "I just 
And the one bit of reprieve that she's had all night, she's just gonna stick his tongue out at uh, her tongue out of him as she points to the uh the knife in the target. Uh he'll chuckle, hold up a hand and go, Hey, what can I say? I'm a good trainer. Still haven't told me the best stuff yet. Oh, we'll get there. Don't hmm. worry. Keep alive. And he'll head out to the forest. She walks over to the uh, to the knife in the target, pulls it out, looks over at him, and then uh, as walking back towards the te- towards the, uh, the camp. Thank you for meeting. I'll do my best. So back at camp. <laughs> Meanwhile, with less <laughs> less going on, <laughs> everyone is mourning Cole's death. Everybody's <laughs> mourning Cole's death. Um, kind of hit pretty fast, and uh, definitely everybody did what they could. Cole's just a fucking klutz. <laughs> I mean, he died because he got just terrified. I was gonna say, um, like the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know much about magic. I mean. <laughs> He's trying to see projectiles come his way, though. Yeah, but it was the first time the shield had been used, and he had no prior warning. Fair enough. That being said, um, it's going to be kind of down back at camp. Uh, But there is a little tiny ball of um, unknown sunshine, I should say. This little pink thing <laughs> with wings that is constantly taking people's spoons, utensils, and anything shiny. It takes after his mama. <laughs> I mean, it's great until he starts throwing them in the fire. Oh, he takes after his mama. <laughs> Nah, it hasn't gotten loud yet. <laughs> I think upon seeing, like... Go on. Tensil's gonna, like, look at the little thing. Could, could, could you not do that? We, we kind of need those. Wow. He's gonna try to, like, wow. stop it and, like, get the tensils out of his paws and mouth, whatever he's using to hold it. Uh, sure. Uh, you will kind of get close to it. You'll go to take something from it. Uh, it will get spiky. Oh. Um, oh. You'll f- see it physically grow thorns like a puffer fish. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, all right, then. Oh. And the thorns will disappear. Um, just Milo's gonna like, get in the way. Miles gonna walk over and just like, um, I mean, please, can you just not do that? Okay, you're not gonna listen to me. That's fine. Um, <laughs> um it's okay. Most people don't listen to me either. Um, you have uh, advantage on charm checks, don't you? Yeah. How about, yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll me a save against a charm person. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, let's see how this goes. Okay. 25. 25. Okay. So to you, it just looks really fucking adorable. He's cute. He is cute. It's, it's almost like he's trying to bribe you with his cuteness. Oh, no. It's like my cats. <laughs> <laughs> So it's an innate ability, but it's not like a spell that he's casting. Uh-huh. It's more like a beguilement. Oh, it's so it's like my cats. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of cute. Yeah, no, it's like yes, you're you're really adorable, but um I'm just gonna she points back over to the car. It's like I'm just gonna go over there away from people. It just kinda like starts walking backwards. To the carts. 
I would say, uh, <laughs> does anybody else have a scene they would like? Mm. Eh, I did, but I can, it can wait. It's not the appropriate time. Okay. So the next morning, everybody will wake up. Uh, they'll get ready. And uh, somebody's going to have to snuff out the fire because that was Cole's job. <laughs> Tens will probably do it because he's the he's been working at the fire most of the night. Yeah. All right. We're gonna get back onto the cart, pack everything up, and uh, you guys will head off onto the road. I think this is a good place to end. Again, opportunists. My name is Winter, and I play Charity V Tiefling Cleric. I wanted to say thank you for listening to us. We hope you enjoy our episodes as much as we do. But don't forget to like and follow our podcast so you don't miss an episode. Special thanks to Purple Planet Music as we use their music for our ambience and sound effects. Also, thank you to Cobalt Press as we use some of their monsters to keep our games feeling lively. Again, just a huge thank you to you guys, our listeners, for enjoying this journey with us. And remember, keep your opportunities open.